Hey YouTube, it's the American Samurai coming once again almost live in Small Town USA, back again with another video for you guys. Um, I saw Deadpool's little do a video kinda like this. I kinda like the idea, so I'm doing something like similar to this. Uh, but I'm not experienced as, as experienced Doctor Who as he is. Um, so I, this video will probably be focusing on the 12th Doctor. I have read three 12th Doctor novels, watched some of the episodes. I'm by no means an expert. These are some crossover ideas I've had that I think could work. Because uh, we, we, I haven't read it yet, but we had this crossover Star Trek. Um, like I said, these we primarily focusing on the 12th Doctor and talk about some anime franchises. Uh, and one that would be kind of combination of anime and um, a, another well known British franchise that I would like to cross over with Doctor Who. So, let's begin. The first one I think of, because I know that's been revised through. Because I have not read the manga of this series, but I have the original series, Ultraman. Now, my idea with this would be... Something happens to the 12th Doctor's TARDIS, and it gets shot off... Once again, in time, and space. And he lands up, ends up landing in the time of the original Ultraman. So this would be, well, the, the early 70s, early 80s in Japan. 50s, 60s, I, I'm not sure when the show was, but it was good. And meets, um... Daigo and Guts and Alien Invaders, yeah. It meets Daigo and Guts and Ultraman, and he's actually, um, we'll kind of make this a little bit of a nod to the past, is that he's actually met the Ultraman species before, and is one of the few species that he actually gets along with very well. Um, and then um, what happens is, I'm thinking once again we can do some cool stuff here, we could have the Daleks. Or the Cybermen, your choice, you know, I just want one of the fan-based villains here. Um, they've somehow allied themselves with a former, with a villain from the Ultraman franchise, from the, from a different universe. Because I know there is one that was human from Ultraman Tika that could turn into a monster at will. So, but I can't remember his name, for the life of me. So that's what I would think here. And, um, Guts... Ultraman and the Doctor would end up having to team up to face this creature together. Along with Clara, of course. I know that he has a new companion later on, but uh, the books I have only list, um, well, this one doesn't have him with a companion, but these two list him with Clara as a companion, so. She's the only, um, 12th Doctor companion I know of. If, um, you guys know what the other ones are, um, list in the comments below. But that would be kind of, you know, a sci-fi action adventure. And now here's another anime one I think would be kind of interesting to do with Doctor Who, because... Um, and in a way, it's kind of a throwback to the original series. Case closed. I'm talking Conan. And I forget what this girl is, but... Um, basically what happened... Is something eventually would happen where the Doctor ends up in Japan. Um, and rescues Conan, Rachel, and the other gal. Now, like, again, I, like I said before, I cannot remember her name for Life Man. And it ticks me off because I know she's a, she's a really good character, too. Um... And Clara's there also. And something happens where there's a crime or something. And this guy's another turning out to be another Time Lord. It's not the Master. And it's actually... Or Missy as she's now, I think. But um, it's the Ronnie. What happens is the Ronnie is going back in time. And allying herself with the most powerful villain she can find. And she actually... Two of the villains she's already got. She's got two different versions of Professor Moriarty. The legitimate version from the Victorian era and the modern era from Sherlock. So the Doctor, seeing this, decides he's going to need help, and not just Sherlock Holmes and Doctor Watson, but he's going to need help from one of Sherlock Holmes' biggest fans and a companion that he actually met um, during when, this being a kind of throwback because he actually had met Conan before when he was Jimmy. Um, he just thinks that Jimmy somehow had has uh, de developed a human way of having regeneration. And he uh, keeps calling him that, uh, but only when Rachel's not around, because she doesn't know. And Jimmy explains everything to him, so. But yeah, he made him before, as in his previous incarnation, as the Tenth Doctor. So that would get the Tenth Doctor in there, too. And he actually helped him catch a um, shape-shifting alien criminal. So this would be the crossover. I said that would be a crossover between this and a well-known British franchise. Because in order to stop them, 
they would have to go back to get the Victorian Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson and also a modern Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson from Sherlock. So you get to see Conan, I mean literally living his dream again, being able to team up with two different versions of his favorite hero. And not to mention, there would be a lot of action adventure comedy. I mean, different versions, Moriarty, different heads. I mean, you have a pretty good amount of action adventure in this one. And maybe you could throw him into a multi-doctor story where it's done so bad that the doctor has to go back in time again to get one of his previous incarnations to help him. I would go with the third doctor, John Pertree. Just because I think him, Sherlock, Conan, um, him and the Sherlocks and Conan just really hit it off. You know, especially the 12th doctor. So that's my idea. And the last one is we would send the him once again to the far-flung future team up with another group, Blade, the Techno-Man. This would be, like I said, would be similar to the Ultraman concept in plot, but not synopsis. Uh, because in this time, Clara would not be with him. I'm saying this, we'll be setting this into an event where something happens, where Clara's not able to come. And yeah, this would actually be interesting, too, because I'm thinking, it'd be cool if you could get a companion from, like, one of these alternate worlds. So I'm thinking what would happen if you got a companion from the Ultra, or from, not Ultraman, but from, um, Robo from Techno Man. Like, uh, one of the Earth far Forces um, gals, like, Kaiser gals. Maybe even Blade himself, actually, later on, becomes a semi-short companion for the Doctor. Just go on a little vacation to get some rest after the, you know. Because this would be set about the end of the war, so. And then you kind of get be able to have flashbacks back to um, the Doctor's own war that he had as the um, War Doctor. So I think that's a good idea, and I think it's something that would be, really could be interesting in the really be fu a fun crossover so yeah those are my uh, ideas for 12th doctor anime crossovers let me know what you guys if you guys have any of your own ideas for crossovers you'd like to see uh, that you think would be cool in like comics or mangas or animes later